Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove duplicates based on the sorting order. So let's say for example here we have this column, uh, maybe these are serial numbers of units, uh, their order date, and the quantity. And we have duplicates here, This first, the first two rows here we show our duplicates, and maybe there is a, a date order here in October and a date order here in uh, November. And we wanted to keep the oldest one, so basically this is sorted in ascending order. So what we need to do first is do the sort here. Let me go ahead and just go through the sort, even though this is already sorted, let me go through and show you how we can sort this. Now I'll go ahead and just select uh, anywhere in the column here, I'll go into sort, do a custom sort, and I want to have it where uh, the serial number column is sorted first. So you see everything sorted and we have our duplicate serial numbers here. And the second thing I want to sort is the date order. So date order. So we want to have oldest and newest first. If I click OK, then we have it already set up here. So that's already done. But I just wanted to show you an example of how you can do it within the advanced sorting here. So in this example, maybe we want to just to keep the oldest ones first. So basically this is a sorted in ascending order. So I'm going to keep those. And this is an example of what I want to keep, right? I want to keep anything that's old. So in the, our second example, let's say we want to sort, we want to keep the newest ones. We wanted to keep uh, November instead of October. Basically, we have to redo our sort here. Let me go ahead and go under the custom sort. And instead of the oldest, oldest to newest, we want newest to oldest. Click OK. And now if I uh, go ahead and do a sort there, let me go ahead and just bring my sort buttons back. Uh, let me go ahead and control shift L, L again, control shift L twice. Let me go ahead and bring back my sort buttons. I want to just have my uh, ones that are newer. Those are the ones I want to keep here, right? So there's two ways we can do this where we can uh, delete the duplicates based on our sorting order. Uh, one way is more simple one if we have a small data set and the other one is a little bit more complex and we have a large data set. So let's go into our first example. Let me go into demo one here and let's say for example what we want to do is we want to uh, keep the ones that are the newest. So I, I need to resort this, right? So let me go back and go under sort. Let me go into custom sort. And we want to sort the serial number first, right? And then it doesn't matter if it's A to Z. We, we just want to group them all together. We want to add another level. And this is the date order sort. And we want to have the newest one first, right? Click OK. And now the newest one shows up on top. Now after this, what we can do is we can just select in our column where we wanted to remove the duplicates. So what we want to do is click on Remove Duplicates. And we just want to select just the serial number one. So I'm going to go ahead and deselect those. And that is the one I want to uh, select. I'll make sure that this is checked. My data does have header, so it doesn't delete those. So once I click OK, what it's going to do is it's going to go down and see that that uh, serial number is there. Oh, and here here's the second serial number. So it's going to delete that, and it's going to keep the most recent ones, right? So if I click OK, and it says if I, I found five duplicates. So this is sorting in descending order, and we have kept our most recent ones right here. Right? If we wanted to do the opposite, let me go ahead and control C to control Z to undo that. If we wanted to do the opposite and we wanted to, to keep our oldest ones, I would basically have to go back in here, go under home, go under my sort filter, go to my custom sort here, and go oldest to newest, or do that resort, and we have our oldest on top. So now when the delete duplicates goes through this table, it's gonna delete, it's gonna see that one's there and it's going to find a duplicate and delete that row. So let's go and see how that works. So go under data, go under remove duplicates, and let me go ahead and unselect all. That would be easier instead of selecting each one. And just select that one. So the serial number is the one we want to keep. Click OK. And once I click OK, it's going to keep that one. It's going to delete the second one. So basically, I have all this in uh, white color, no yellow colors, in column D. So go ahead and click OK. And now you can see that it has deleted all the newer ones and kept the older ones. So that's the first way we can delete duplicates uh, based on the sorting order. Now there's another example here, I'm going to demo two here. This is another example where we can use uh, Power Query, it's one of the Power BI tools in Excel. Uh, this is using Excel 2013, I believe it's available since Excel 2010. Anything prior to that, I don't think uh, Power Query was available. But in Excel 2010 and, and further, you can get Power Query by going to the Microsoft site and searching for Power Query and downloading it and enabling it on Excel. The reason why I bring up Power Query to do this is if we've got large data sets, and this is something that I've come across, uh, we've got large data sets, maybe 
uh, over 500,000 records or 500,000 rows. If you do uh, a lot of data analysis on large records, 500,000, a million records, maybe two million records, uh, basically you're going to be taking this um, not necessarily from an Excel file, maybe from a comma separate comma separated file, a CSV file. And uh, to do this in Excel, if you have uh, over a million records, very difficult uh, to do. But if you have Power Query, it makes it much easier. So I'm going to only use this similar small data set to show you an example of how this gets done in Power Query. So this is something that I found from the Microsoft TechNet forum. So here's the link there. I'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description. But this is how uh, we can use Power Query, and it's using the M language, uh, this table buffer expression, to go ahead and perform this analysis. So I'm going to do it by um, ascending. So I'm going to take ascending the, the, the serial number, the duplicated serial number that has the most recent date, and I want to keep those. So the first thing we need to do is turn this into a table. It makes it easier to put into Power Query. And I already have Power Query uh, enabled in my particular version of Excel, so I'm going to go ahead and start it. So I'm going to insert a table, or turn this into a table. Go to Insert and click Table, and it's going to turn this into a table. Click OK. Um, and after that, I'm going to go into the Power Query tab and import the data from table. So this is a table. So I'm going to go ahead and under Power Query, go ahead and uh, bring it in from the table. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the Power Query editor. So let me show you an example of what happens in Power Query if you remove the duplicates depending, no matter how you sort the order. So there is this remove duplicates command here. So say for example here that I sorted this by uh, ascending and uh, I wanted to remove, well, so let's see what happens if I use the remove duplicates, right? So this 1026 is the first one uh, and maybe I want to keep that one. So I'll remove that one. So I'll go ahead and click here and click remove duplicates. You'll see that it has removed the November entry of that one. Let me go ahead and go back and just remove that command there. So we're back here. Let's say, for example, we wanted to uh, sort this order in descending. So we would think that since this comes first, and if I go ahead and click on that and click remove duplicates, this one would stay and uh, the, this October entry would disappear. But that's not the case. Let me go ahead and click remove duplicates. And you'll notice that no matter what order that you selected, it's going to remove this, it will remove the November one. And just as the way that Power Query works. So we wanted to get around that. And so to get around that is a workaround called the table.buffers expression. So I'll go ahead and undo this. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. And I don't know if I've mentioned before, I am not a Power Query expert. This is just something that I picked up from the Microsoft TechNet forum. It was very useful because I had a, a large data set and this worked out beautifully for me. And so what we need to do is we want to go into Advanced Editor and go ahead and add a line and do modify another line to make this happen. So what I did after we did the sort, so we do our we do our sorts and we get it the way that we wanted to. So this is basically the first line we want to keep and we want to move this line. So I go into advanced editor and after the sorted rows line, I go ahead and enter a comma, press enter. I'm going to go ahead and add a table.buffer expression command. Go ahead and control V to paste that in there. And that is the command there. I'm going to go ahead and remove that particular comma. And also, this is going to change. It's not sorted rows. It's going to be buffered now. Let me go ahead and just copy this. Control C to copy. Select this. Control V to paste. Uh, there's no syntax errors here. So I'm going to click done. And we have our applied steps here, buffer steps. Now, incidentally, uh, there were times when I was going through this and I entered that buffered command or that buffer expression in there and I didn't have these steps in there. It, it changed and it just said table. And if that happens to you, uh, go ahead and redo it uh, re re because it's not going to work. You need to have it as one of the applied steps here. So after that, what I need to do is just go ahead and click on my column that I want to remove duplicates. So in this instance now, I can just go ahead and click remove duplicates and you notice now the most recent one has stayed there and the older ones have disappeared. So this particular set here has stayed. Also at the bottom here where we had the most recent set of this particular one, we had four instances of that serial number. The most recent one here has stayed. The keep um, is flagged here for descending. And so that has stayed. So then after, after I have my data set here, what I can do is I can just click on close and load and it's going to load it into a new worksheet and have my set of data here that I want to have.
So this is the, the one that is uh, all in descending order, so basically the most recent order here for the serial number. So those are the two examples. Of course, the first example here in demo one is using the uh, data and then remove duplicates. And this is more useful if the data set is small. But if we have a large data set, uh, maybe there's something that is over half a million records, a million records, uh, even a um, million and a half records, that would probably be on a comma separated value file, CSV file. You can bring that in. But if we'd had like uh, between um, maybe 250 to a million records in Excel, we can bring that into Power Query. Doing in Excel uh, in itself with the uh, remove duplicates command, command might take a long time depending on the data set. But if we have a large data set, bring it into Power Query and using the table.buffer expression worked fine for me. I had a large data set, uh, over half a million records, and when I used this particular uh, set of commands or this particular method using Power Query, it worked great. So there's your example on removing duplicates based on the, a sorting order. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.